Hi, I'm Mitch Mitchell. So today I'm going to start off by talking about cookies. You know, every once in a while I get a craving for a certain type of cookie. So at the beginning of the week I had a craving for chocolate covered graham cookies. I don't know why, it just happens every once in a while. So I go to the store. The, you know, I basically share a backyard with Wegmans here in the Syracuse, New York area. So I go to the store and I go right to the name brand cookies. And I buy a pack of the Keebler, uh, you know, chocolate covered graham cookies. And I bring those bad boys home and I start to eat them and they just tasted horrible. And I, I, I'm not sure that I'd ever bought these before. I must not have because I don't remember them tasting that bad. So me being me, I ate three cookies. <laughs> Didn't like any of them, threw the whole package away. And that package cost me about $2.89. So I'm irked, but, you know, I'm not deterred. So the next day, I take my silly behind back to the store, and now I'm walking around looking for some other, you know, chocolate-covered graham cookies. And I couldn't find any until I found this fancy brand here that's called Asher's Graham Crackers. Chocolate, as you see, milk chocolate smothered graham crackers. And that bag was $5.49 and you only got seven cookies, but they were big. And I'm thinking, okay, you know what? This is a specialty brand. I will buy that and I will take it home and I will try that. So I bought those. I'd never bought those before. And you know what? The first cookie, yuck. I bit into the second cookie and said, no, you can't have that either. But for whatever reason, because it cost $5.49 for that, I haven't been able to throw it away yet. I'm certainly not going to eat it, and I'm getting closer. Why am I getting closer? Because today I had lunch with a business colleague, and then I decided to stop at the dollar store. It's actually, it's called Dollar Tree. I, both, I don't know why I call it the dollar store. Anyhow, I stopped there because I knew they had some graham cookies covered in chocolate that I liked. It's this group here. There it is, graham covered, you know, fudge covered graham squares. And they call themselves just oven baked. And you buy them this many, look at this big old pack here, for a dollar each. So I bought two. So I buy two of these packets and I come home and I eat the first cookie and it tastes wonderful. Dollar a piece. Now, here's one of these strange stories when you look at stuff like this. You know, there are people who think that all the Apple products have to be better than Android and uh, PCs because they cost more money and they're really not. They just are packaged better. And you know, the thing that you find is that Apple people love Apple stuff and so they're willing to spend all that kind of money for it. Me personally, no, that's, that's not my style. I've always been a PC guy and I have an Android phone. But it doesn't mean that they're not good. It just necessarily doesn't necessarily mean that they're superior. I'm fine with what I have. You know, I'm looking at the price of these cookies, and I'm saying, my goodness, the dollar cookies taste a lot better than the one that came in at $5.49. Not even close. I mean, even the graham cracker part is horrible on the other two, and it's wonderful on this. So, you know, that's the first part of this, is the fact that just because something is priced relatively low does not necessarily mean it's horrible or bad. Now, here's part two. So I decided to look this company up. And they're actually called uh, from some company called Interbake Foods LLC. And it's not really a name that I was familiar with. Okay, it's not a name I was familiar with. So I go looking it up. And you know what? They own the company that makes Girl Scout cookies. So basically, <laughs> I'm getting, in essence, this big old pack of Girl Scout cookies, that's what I'm calling it anyway, for a dollar. And they're wonderful. Dollar Tree. For a dollar. So this makes point number two, which says that a company can be really successful selling things that don't cost a heck of a lot of money. Because you know if the Dollar Tree can sell these for a dollar, that they're getting them for probably 50 cents or maybe even less. And these people are able to mass produce this stuff and get it out there. And they basically own four other companies and they're putting cookies out all over the place. Y'all buy Girl Scout cookies. You know how much those things cost. And we love them. Okay, I love the peanut butter. And I like the mint. And okay, I like the Girl Scout cookies. What, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I don't get them all the time, but I love the Girl Scout cookies. And you recognize how much that costs. But see, that's more for charity. But 
this is one of those kind of things where you see people who they start talking about uh, making products and selling products and you know there are a lot of people who are pricing things really really high um, I know that there was this training course for how you can be an affiliate marketer and they were charging $997 and they had people actually paying that and that's good for them but you can do okay if you can sell at a mass volume at a lower price and if you can do that you can create multiple products yeah, they're smaller but you can make a pretty good living doing off of something like that that's what these folks did so I'm about to eat another cookie but I just wanted to put that out there as something to think about you don't always have to charge the highest charge what you're worth I mean you know I charge a lot for my consulting but you know what those folks are earning millions of dollars so I deserve to be able to charge higher for that but I don't charge as high for my writing because I can do a lot more of that I can do it easier um, but you know maybe when you're creating products or if you're thinking about that kind of thing don't price everything to the extreme that's just a thought Mitch Mitchell y'all take care